Let's create a new material. First click on the load blank button. Then click on new. Select the blank type and size and name the blank. Then click OK. Now let's import the design file by clicking on the load part option. Find and select the desired design file to import and click open. The design will populate in the blank automatically with the screw channels and margins. Now you can rotate and move the file freely. A construction info file should accompany the STL file in the same folder, preventing the need to manually mark margins or emergence profile. Please verify the abutment margin line is pink in color and the emergence profile is green. Keeping the additional files such as a construction file are important to protect the interface. Next we should select the implant interface. Let's choose the identify part features button and select the implant interface tab. Selecting the arrows to cycle through each interface. Choose the interface type in the category dropdown and choose the appropriate category. The selected interface will show in blue and can be verified with the design file. This file can ensure consistency in milling angle screw channels. Repeat this for all screw channels. Now we have to add connectors. First let's turn off the view of the fixture by highlighting the fixture and select the hide selected tool. Now we can move the pins to the desired locations. Connectors are generated automatically when placed in the blank. And using the delete button on your keyboard to remove and choosing the connectors button to add more. You can add or remove connectors as needed by selecting a connector. Connectors should be spread out and not too close together. Also try to avoid connectors in the anterior facial of the bridge. Using the automatic user defined will help us prevent undercuts. To do this, choose the handle undercuts option. Then select setup and provide preferred settings. After generating auto user defined, you will not be able to adjust connectors. For large bridges we should use a sintering frame. Do this by selecting the set connectors option and select the center frame tab. Now click on the restoration and close to apply the frame. We will now select the template by selecting settings. Then milling strategies defaults. Choose material and restoration type. The template chosen will be set as a default for the next job. Time to calculate. To do this, choose the Calculate Toolpaths button. The calculation will start once complete, and you can use Hyperview to verify.
you will see the ball-shaped burr reach through the screw seat area from the occlusal side. Then the special T cutter will enter from the cavity side, to mill the taper that was missed from the occlusal side. The auto user defined will mill outlined undercuts for the best resulted anatomy.